OpenAI's GPT-3 model released back in the middle of 2020 is starting to show its age with more and more competitors coming out with artificial intelligence models which clearly surpass OpenAI in terms of performance, energy efficiency, and actual capabilities. Now the Google-owned company DeepMind has come out with an incredible AI model that beats GPT-3 by almost 10 times at slightly lower energy consumption. Their first transformer model from 2017 was built for natural language processing, and it got excellent soda results. Its performance piqued the interest of machine learning experts, who have subsequently successfully applied the attention-based architecture to perception tasks and other modalities, such as image, video, and audio categorization. Its heir has now been born. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you this rather crazy new approach to creating actually smart and capable artificial intelligence models, what its capabilities are, and finally, what this means for the AI industry. While transformers have demonstrated their use and potential in many applications, obtaining SOTA performance necessitates training a distinct model for each job. As a result, Developing a single transformer model capable of processing different modalities and datasets and sharing its learnable parameters has emerged as an appealing research path. To that goal, a team of researchers from Google Research, the University of Cambridge, and the Alan Turing Institute introduced PolyVT, a single transformer architecture co-trained on image, audio, and video that is parameter efficient and learns representations that generalize across domains. The PolyVT architecture is inspired by the notion that human perception is intrinsically multimodal, as well as earlier research that has proved transformers' potential to work on any modality that can be tokenized. PolyVT uses a single transformer encoder across several tasks and modalities, allowing for up to a linear decrease in parameters as the number of activities increases. The key approach used to construct PolyVT is co-training which involves training a single model on various classification problems at the same time across possibly numerous modalities. The researchers build their training mini-batches using examples from a single task in order to enable co-training on multiple tasks with no additional hyperparameter adjustment as compared to a single task baseline. In this method, huge hyperparameter sweeps are not required to attain competitive accuracy. The team samples a mini-batch from the job at hand, assesses a gradient, and then executes a parameter update throughout the code training process. The following is a summary of the advantages of this code training technique provided by the team. To begin with, it is parameter efficient, which is useful for deploying models on edge devices with limited memory, which would otherwise be unable to fit the weights of n separate models. Second, using a single model for different activities makes model deployment and online changes easier. Third, co-training on tasks of the same modality improves accuracy on each individual task while simultaneously lowering overall parameters linearly. Fourth, our multi-task, multi-modal model may learn representations that generalize across tasks and domains. Fifth, the co-training arrangement is practical and easy to execute. Finally, co-training has no effect on overall training costs since the total number to assess the efficacy of their suggested strategy. The researchers trained PolyVT on nine different categorization tasks across image, video, and audio modalities at the same time. The results demonstrate that co-training on tasks of the same modality improves accuracy on each task while also lowering overall parameters linearly. PolyVT obtained SOTA results on video and audio classification tasks, and when co-training was extended to numerous tasks and modalities, it also achieved competitive performance and was more parameter economical. Polyvite's capacity to learn representations that generalize across many tasks and domains was also proven in the team's linear probing tests. Scientists at AI Research Lab DeepMind claim to have taken the first steps to train an agent capable of playing many different games without needing human interaction data, according to a blog post about their new, open-ended learning, initiative. Their new project includes a 3D environment with realistic dynamics and deep reinforcement learning agents that can learn to solve a wide range of challenges. The new system, according to DeepMind's AI researchers, is an important step toward creating more general agents with the flexibility to adapt rapidly within constantly changing environments. The findings of the research indicate some notable breakthroughs in applying reinforcement learning to complex challenges. 
However, they also serve as a reminder of how distant existing systems are from acquiring the type of general intelligence skills that the AI community has long desired. The main advantage of reinforcement learning is its capacity to create behavior by doing actions and receiving feedback, which is comparable to how people and animals learn by interacting with their surroundings. According to some experts, reinforcement learning is the first computational theory of intelligence. Deep reinforcement learning, a blend of reinforcement learning and deep neural networks, has been at the core of many developments in AI, including DeepMind's well-known AlphaGo and AlphaStar models. In both occasions, AI systems outperformed human world champions in their respective games. However, reinforcement learning methods are known for their lack of adaptability. A reinforcement learning model that can play StarCraft II at an expert level, for example, will not be able to play a game with identical dynamics, e.g., Warcraft 3, at any level of competency. Even little changes to the original game will significantly reduce the AI model's performance. These agents are frequently confined to play just the games for which they were taught, while the actual instantiation of the game may vary, e.g., the layout, beginning circumstances, opponents, the goals that the agents must achieve stay consistent between training and testing. Deviation from this can result in catastrophic failure of the agent, DeepMind's researchers wrote in a study detailing their open-ended learning. Humans, on the other hand, are exceptionally adept at transferring knowledge between areas. DeepMind's latest research aimed to construct an artificial agent whose behavior is generalizable outside the collection of games on which it was trained. To that goal, the team developed Xland, a 3D environment generator with static topology and moving elements. The game engine replicates rigid body physics and allows players to manipulate the objects in a variety of ways, e.g., create ramps, block paths, etc. Xland is a rich environment where you may train agents on an almost infinite variety of tasks. One of the key benefits of Xland is the ability to apply programmatic rules to automatically construct a diverse set of settings and challenges for AI agents to learn in. This tackles one of the major difficulties of machine learning systems, which sometimes need massive volumes of manually chosen training data. The researchers developed billions of tasks in Xland, across many games, planets, and participants, according to the blog post. The games range from from simple aims like discovering things to more complicated situations where the AI agents must carefully balance the advantages and downsides of various rewards. Some of the games incorporate aspects of collaboration or rivalry involving numerous agents. DeepMind creates AI bots that can flourish in the Xland environment using deep reinforcement learning and a few ingenious methods. Each agent's reinforcement learning model receives a first-person perspective of the environment, the agent's physical state, for example, whether it is carrying an object, and its current objective. Each agent tweaks the settings of its policy neural network in order to maximize its rewards on the current job. The neural network design includes an attention mechanism to guarantee that the agent can balance optimization for the subgoals needed to achieve the main objective. When the agent has mastered the current challenge, the computational task generator generates a new one for the agent. Each new job is created based on the agent's training history and in such a manner that the agent's skills are distributed throughout a wide spectrum of obstacles. DeepMind also leveraged its huge computational resources, courtesy of its owner Alphabet Inc., to train a large population of agents in parallel and transfer learnt parameters across multiple agents to increase the general capabilities of reinforcement learning systems. The performance of the reinforcement learning agents was assessed based on their general ability to complete a variety of tasks on which they had not been taught. Well-known challenges such as, capture the flag, and, hide and seek, are among the test assignments. According to DeepMind, each agent in Xland played 700,000 distinct games in 4,000 separate environments and completed 200 billion training steps over 3.4 million unique jobs, in the paper. The researchers write that 100 million steps are equivalent to approximately 30 minutes of training. Machine learning models with zero-shot training can address issues that did not exist in their training dataset. In a complex environment like Xland, zero-shot learning may mean that the agents have gained basic information about their surroundings rather than memorizing sequences of visual frames in specific tasks and settings. When the researchers sought to alter the reinforcement learning agents for new tasks, they showed symptoms of generalized learning. According to their findings, 
30 minutes of fine-tuning on new tasks was sufficient to provide a significant improvement in a reinforcement learning agent taught using the novel strategy. In comparison, an agent taught from scratch for the same period of time would do poorly on most tasks. Overall, the work demonstrates that Polyvite's new code training enhances parameter efficiency when compared to single task models, and that the technique can reach competitive and even SOTA performance across many tasks and datasets. So, what is your opinion on this rather new approach to developing and using artificial intelligence models? Does DeepMind have a good chance of staying ahead of OpenAI or do you believe that for example GPT-4 would beat whatever DeepMind has up their sleeve anyway? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.